This is Lori here from Mountain Mud Pottery. I'm going to wedge up a couple of pieces of clay and do a demo on how to do a simple cylinder and what you can do with the cylinder. So I'll start by wedging the clay for you. So wedging the clay just prepares the clay for getting it on the wheel because obviously you can't put a chunk of clay like that on the wheel. It has to be kind of somewhat round and this also gets any air bubbles out of it. There's one. These are about a pound and a half each which would make a substantial size mug. Okay, to get it ready, it's very important that you try to get it in the center as much as possible. Uh, centering is crucial for any success. So I'm going to smack it down in the middle and push it in. Pat it down a bit and then when it's, the wheel is slowly turning, what I do is I kind of give it a little chop. And this makes it adhere more. And before I wet my hand, I'm going to run a dry finger on the bottom and this gives you much more success in making the piece stay on the wheel head because sometimes it wants to fly off. So next I'm going to be, this is called coning. I'm going to cone up and down and again this is getting the piece ready to open up to make whatever item that you want to make. So I'm going to be adding water but not you want it lubricated but not sopping wet. So what I'm doing, the one thing that I think is very important because as a beginner especially, this bottom part wants to splay out and you don't have much success when that starts to happen. So what I do is every time I'm going to pull up or cone up, I make an indent right there and that gives me a reference point to put my hands on because I want to put my hands right on the wheel head. And what I'm doing to cone up is I'm kind of squishing it in and as it squishes in I'm pulling and pushing it up with both hands equally at the same time. To cone down I am going to put my left hand in kind of a C and then my right hand, this part of my hand right here, the heel of my hand, is pushing it over. So I'm pushing it, but stabilizing with my left hand. And then that brings it down. And I follow it all the way down to the wheel head. Again, I'm going to make that reference point. Cone up. What I'm doing is mostly getting it centered. It has to be very centered before you go to open it. So you can see here, there's no wobble in here. This also gets rid of most air bubbles, which you also don't want. So now I'm going to open this and make a cylinder. So the cylinder is the basic shape of the wheel anything on the wheel. So I flatten the top, so it looks kind of like a frisbee disc. I flatten the top of it with this part of my hand and now I'm going to open it. So again I want it lubricated but not, so not soaking wet. With my left hand I'm holding it stable. With my right hand I feel where the center is, it's kind of, a, kind of quiet, it feels quiet, it feels quiet. And then I'm going to kind of push like that and follow the finger down to open up the hole. And as a beginner it's probably important at this point to check the, the uh, thickness of the bottom. You don't want it too thick, you definitely don't want it too thin. So I'm going to put a pin tool in the bottom. So that's about that thick. It's about a quarter of an inch, a little over a quarter of an inch. That's kind of perfect. And then from here, again, very important to keep your left hand 
stabilizing and then with I'm going to pull straight back with my middle finger supported with these other two fingers so I'm pulling straight back and then it's opened up quite nicely again another important thing is compressing the bottom of the piece so I'm going to go back and forth several times that makes it flatter and also eliminates any S cracking that may happen which is kind of a thing that happens easily with clay so I'm gonna go back and forth a few times okay I'm just going to because I like it a bit thinner on the bottom still it's still about that thick on the bottom so again I'm just going to make a little indent on the bottom and I am going to push and pull my hands are coming up at about the same time inside and outside because you want to keep supporting it so here you have a basic cylinder which would make a nice mug even just that shape if you want to shape this there are so many things you can do with this cylinder once you have this shape I like to make my mugs with a little bit of a belly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pushing out from the inside of the clay of the piece with my fingers on the inside slightly. Not a big huge motion but a small motion and the sponge on the outside is going to support that movement. So if you watch the bottom of it it's going to belly out a little bit. And even though I'm doing that now I'm going to change pressure and put it more on the outside hand always follow it up to the very top so that's the first movement of doing that and again just taking the water out of the inside so again I'm gonna be pushing from the bottom inside hand is pushing outside hand is supporting So that gives it a nice belly shape and from there you can really experiment not that I would do this on a mug but if you wanted to get a bowl you wanted a rim you could just fold it down like that and make a nice rim push it back up two more things to show you um, just this is a very rough piece it's nothing I'm going to keep it's just for a demonstration with the pin tool if you had the this was uneven at the top which does happen sometimes just a bit of an uneven pull or whatever and you want to cut the top off this is how you do it it looks intimidating but it's actually quite easy you wet your fingers you're holding the rim with these two fingers with the pin tool you very gently and carefully push it in until it hits your middle finger and then just pull the top off that is very intimidating to start with and another thing that is also intimidating when you first start the bottom of this mug even though it's quite thin I always want to cut the bottom off a little bit so I take a wooden tool with a nice angled edge like that I hold it like a pencil and then supporting it with my other hand I am going to again gently push it on an angle until it hits the wheel head gently pull it away and another tip as well when you go to take this piece off you would just cut this with a wooden tool and then run it like that often it'll stick this bit will stick on the mug what I do is I add a little bit of water with the round part of this tool into that space 
which then, when you take this clay off, it doesn't stick as much. <laughs> it may stick a little bit, but not as much. The last step, which again is a bit intimidating. So for this piece, you want to have your hands dry. You take a wire tool, have it taut, and then have your wheel head going slowly. And you hold this flat to the wheel head and run the wire underneath it to take it off. Another part that's even more crucial is to pick this up and put it to a wear board. You want dry hands and you want to grasp it at the bottom very carefully like that and then lift it and take it to your wear board. So the next video I will show you how to pull a handle which I think looks more organic on a mug than anything that's mechanically done and we'll show you how to finish up the mug. Thank you for watching.